Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I want to give you some tips and tricks you can use to make recovering and general use of quick draw better. Discover some stuff about this move that I didn't know previously so I'm excited to show you what I found. First things first, learning how to auto cut the quick draw is essential to make good use of it even outside of recovering. A rule of thumb you can use to get it more consistently is that you release the button when you're one character length above the ground or a full hop length. This way you land on stage with no lag and can act immediately. This lets you spot dodge, jump, shield or attack depending on what you deem useful in that situation. Aiming for the ledge is very important as sweet spotting it makes it so the slashing hitbox doesn't come out. Crucial against characters with counters as they can force you into recovering low, especially if, if you have no resources. Never try to land on stage unless you know you're getting an auto cancel or if you're mixing up. Most people are ready to punish you should you land on stage. Some people even assume you land on stage, giving up the ledge for free in the process. Charge far away from the stage so it's harder for your opponent to know when and where you're coming from. Charging in the blast zone is almost always optimal. In addition to that, the opponent cannot edge guard you as easily if you do this. If you don't get knocked away very high, you can double jump in place and charge at the same time to gain extra distance. Double jumping and charging while holding forward can also work, but you're more susceptible to edge guards this way, so it's a risk reward for sure. If you got knocked far away vertically off stage, you can just charge while falling backwards, forward or in place. You can also fast fall and charge to mix up timing, or double jump before fast falling to delay even further. It's honestly very flexible and there's a lot you can do with this. There is a variety of different options you can choose from if your quick draw hits someone mid-air. Remember that you only have a few frames to work with after the attack hits, so you gotta be quick. I don't see this one used too much, but you can air dodge at a quick draw, be it directional or normal. This is very useful when people are trying to body block you when recovering. If you're close enough to the ledge, you can directional air dodge to the ledge for safety. But if we're a bit further away, I recommend regular air dodge. That way you can still drift towards stage and double jump or ether or quick draw again. Double jumping is also something you can do, but only do this if your opponent is too far away to punish you after quick draw hits. Losing your double jump more or less makes ether the only option you got, and you don't want to go there. And then we of course have ether, which are probably the most commonly used option. Only do this if you're close enough to the ledge though. If not, you will plummet to your death and look silly in the process. Quick draw on stage can be pretty good for wish punishing or closing the distance between you and your opponent. Against projectile peeps, it's very useful to punish the startup window of them throwing projectiles. Examples being Link Boomerangs, Belmont Axes and Crosses, etc. Doing a full hop quick draw on stage can also be very useful to get to the other side more quickly than you otherwise would. And that's gonna be it for this video. Quick draw is honestly one of the most fun moves in this game for me because of the amount of usage and options you have with it. And I hope this video was able to show some of that. If you like this video, please recruit the like button by turning it blue. And if you really liked the video, please consider subscribing. Until next time, take care and have a nice day.